Jesus. It got kind of quiet when Jesus said, Now pray for your uncle and your brother. Just pray for yourself. That this is the last prayer you have on the face of this earth. Right? Because he wasn't telling me, Okay, you're going to live. I had a feeling like he was just going to take me. He was going to, he was letting me get my heart right before he took me. And he says, Now pray for your uncle the way you're praying for yourself. So I just started praying for my uncle the way Jesus was praying for me. What are you thinking, Chris? I'm thinking that's that's sparing judgment, but I keep hearing from the Lord that not only are you, you didn't just escape that, but you're going to be fruitful and multiply. That that, that prayer was crucial, but he's also going to take you into kingdom advancement, meaning this is part of your testimony that you can share with people of that day that you almost died and that Jesus said, have mercy on this man, but it's not just staying there. But that's, that's huge what, what happened. But I keep hearing for you, John, to confirm the word that David shared, that your destiny is set and that you will be fruitful and multiply yeah. at the kingdom so advancement. Yesterday, yeah. I was taught, uh, I don't know if you were there, but we were talking to Vicki, and she was giving her history, and she said, and you don't know what, what, uh, where I came out of, and I said, we're not this church. The Lord was giving me a word of knowledge right then. She said, she was startled. I said, well, that was a word of knowledge. And then I said, then I said, somebody named John's going to be praying with us. Wow. So your destiny is set. You're here today, and. And I, I couldn't figure out who John was. I, I was thinking, oh, this person named John. And there's something to do with Oklahoma, too. Whatever that is, we'll figure that out later. Mm-hmm. But the, And so I said it right, I said it openly. And I asked her, do you know somebody named John? She said no. And, and so here he is, this one. So what I'm saying is your destiny is set. Because the Lord had already told us you were gonna, sh- you were gonna come. That's how, that's how cool our God is. He prepared Amen. the way ahead of time, so you would get the word that His hand is on you. Amazing. Yeah. His hand is on you for <clears throat> good. His hand on you is because He saw something beyond the hardness of your heart. And he has such an intention for your purpose that he took care of it. He even went beyond your will. You know, a lot of times God won't move beyond our will, but there are times he will. When he knows that our will is set, not by our own decisions, but by something that was done to us or perpetration or something, has mercy on us. And he gives us a chance by showing us what it, what it would have been like. And what I see is that you, that he did that with you, but you chose him over what it would have been like. And so your destiny is set. So you're being here. The Lord prepared it even before, and you can ask them. I, you can ask Vicky. No, I, I believe. I believe. Yeah. So yeah. It, that that's why I was a little bit surprised I, when you said John. Because I was thinking, okay, now the Lord, the, now I understand, mm. you know, what the Lord was saying. So anyway, they're gonna, they, they want to come here.